Hey everyone, this is Jordan, of course, and today I'm excited to announce a new addition to our SOA Money Team beta Discord server. So the new release that uh, we have just released today is the Amazon Seller Watch. And so in this video, I'm going to explain what Seller Watch is, what it does, and how members of the SOA Money Team can utilize Seller Watch. So if you come into our Discord server and come down to the Amazon category and under Seller Watch, uh, you can see that we have a bot set up here. Um, and so what this bot is, is it essentially watches and catalogs a list of Amazon sellers based on their seller ID for you. And then it periodically scapes, uh, scrapes those storefronts and then notifies you if those seller storefronts uh, stock any new ASINs. So this is kind of like a more advanced automated way of doing storefront stocking uh, and keeping tabs on seller storefronts that you like to regularly source. This just cuts out a lot of the manual labor. You don't have to continuously manually source these storefronts and you can just be notified directly in Discord when your favorite storefronts stock new products. So we're going to walk through um, how to utilize it, um, the limitations with the bot and some of the additional features that we're working on adding uh, right away here as well. So to start off, uh, if you come into the Seller Watch channel, you can use the command, all the commands start with a little symbol and you can use the command help. And then what this will do is this will send you a direct message from the bot showing all the commands available. So uh, it just gives you a bit of a description. So we can see that all the commands start with this little prefix here. And so we have the setup command, which set up the bot, uh, the add command, which is to add new sellers, the remove command, which is to remove sellers from your list. Uh, update is something that we'll discuss in a moment here. The list command lists all the sellers that you currently have watched. Uh, tokens displays your current Keepa tokens, which we will discuss in a moment here as well. Uh, we have a product search function. So this allows you to just search individual products if you so choose. And then we also have a purge function, which allows you to remove all of your information, save products, etc., from our database. Okay, so let's do some setup here and I will show you kind of how it works. So to get started, what we do is we do the command setup. And then what this does is this creates your own private thread. Uh, so only yourself and then the moderators of this channel can access this thread. Nobody else can see it unless you specifically invite them to see it. And from here, we can see that the bot is prompting us to enter our, our Keepa API key. So the bot functions on each person's individual Keepa, uh, Keepa account. Um, so Keepa does have some limitations in place, so we can't just provide a Keepa API from ourselves. Uh, if we did, we wouldn't be able to monitor that many storefronts and only a uh, select few people would be able to utilize this. So we have it set up so that you can utilize your own Keepa API key. And you don't have to worry about this, um, Keepa, your Keepa API key, you can kind of change at will. And all it does is it allows you to have access directly into Keepa's API. So you find your Keepa API key by coming into Keepa, logging in, of course, and then you come to the apps section and then to Keepa API. And then you can see that you have a private uh, API access key here. So this is the access key that you will use. If you want to change this at any time or if you don't want to use the service anymore, you can just refresh it. And then that will generate a brand new key for you. And the old key will no longer be valid. And then you can see here that for myself, it says that we currently have 900 tokens available. For standard Keepa accounts, you will have 300 tokens available. We have um, increased access for our account just because we have multiple uh, people using it. Uh, but basically you have 300 tokens uh, and that means you get 300 tokens per hour. Uh, it regenerates five tokens every single minute. And basically any request or command that you do that directly links to Keep Keepa's API uses a set amount of tokens which we'll discuss in a few moments here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this uh, product or this API key. We'll come back into the bot. We will enter a key. So now it says we have our setup all ready to go. So now we're ready to start adding sellers. So on my other screen here, I'm just going to pull up um, my seller database here. I'm going to pull through a, a very large storefront that this should be nobody storefront that is using our services. I just have to find their seller ID. So be just a moment here. We are going to be looking for Pattern or iServe. They are one of the largest um, FBA sellers in the world. 
and they do sell on both Canada and the US and I imagine other marketplaces as well. And I'll show you how to find the seller ID, is to, uh, the seller ID too. So when you open up a Amazon storefront, this is what it looks like. So you come into the, their main storefront, it tells you their name, it gives you access into their storefront, it tells you all the feedback and whatnot. What you wanna do is to track uh, individual storefronts is you want to pull through their seller ID. So do not look at the one that says marketplace ID. This is kind of like generic uh, marketplace ID right there. You always want to pull through the one that says seller equals. And then this string of text right here is their seller ID. So this is the one that you want to grab. So we'll copy this and we will come back into discord. And now we're going to use the add command. So we're going to, uh, to add, and then it's going to say enter a seller ID. So we copied our previous seller ID. We're going to put that in there. And then we're going to choose what marketplace we want to add this seller for. So if we want to uh, add pattern or iServer.com, we can. In this specific case, we're going to do CA. So we just choose CA. Uh, and then what this prompt does is, is it's asking you if you'd like to update this specific seller. So you just have to tell the bot either yes or no. And it you just have to be advised that when you do this, it uses an extra 50 tokens. So again, you have very limited tokens. So uh, you don't have to do this for most storefronts, but if you are tracking a relatively small storefront or a relatively new storefront, one that doesn't have very good metrics, it would probably be wise to do that because Keepa tends to not track those seller storefronts products super accurately or very often. If you're tracking a larger storefront or one that has decent metrics, this isn't something you typically have to do. Uh, but if you're not getting good results for your storefront, um, or if you're tracking a, uh, a small storefront, I would advise running the update command, which you can do later on as well. So for right now, we're going to say no. And then we can see that this seller has now been added to our watch list. So now what will happen is every 15 minutes, the bot will run. It will scrape through the storefront for a pattern or for iServe, and then it'll advise us uh, if it finds any new results from the last time it scraped that storefront. So right now it's um, it's cataloging their entire storefront. It already has done that and has saved it in a database of ours. And whenever it produces new ASINs, it will inform us when new ASINs are produced, right? So I'm going to show you kind of what the products will look like when it does produce a new ASIN. So let me just grab an ASIN here and I will show you what it looks like. We're obviously not gonna wait 15 minutes in this video for to see if it's gonna produce new results, uh, but I'll show you what it looks like. So when it does produce a, a new ASIN, it'll kind of look like this. So we just have to do product individually. And CA. So when it produces new ASINs for a storefront, um, if, a, if a seller only stocks one product, it'll look like this. If they stock a bunch of new products, you'll just have a list of products that look exactly like this pop up. It'll tell you what storefront it's from, and then it'll tell you some corresponding information. So it'll give you a link directly to the Amazon product. It'll tell you the product name, the ASIN, the brand, the category, some reverse search functions. So you can one click search it on Amazon, Google, eBay, eBay sold, etc. It'll tell you if there's a buy box, it'll tell you what the current buy box is, what the current sales rank is, and how many offers are currently on the listing, and also provide you the photo as well, right? So you click on the product, uh, click visit site, leads you directly to Amazon, and it brings you directly to the product, right? So yeah, that is the base functionality of the bot. Um, if you want to check your tokens, you can run the command for tokens. This will tell you how many tokens you actually have left uh, in your bot at any given time. And so what uh, it, it tells you in the help function what every function actually costs. So it tells you when you set up, when you first set up the bot, it costs no tokens. Uh, each time you add a new seller, it does cost 10 tokens if it's successful. It doesn't cost you any tokens to remove a seller. If you want to update a seller, this will cost you 50 tokens if it is uh, successful or if a seller has uh, not been updated in the last 24 hours. Uh, if you want to list your sellers, that does not cost you any tokens. To display how many tokens you have, that doesn't cost you any tokens. When it produces products for you, that does cost you three tokens. So for every product that it pulls from a seller storefront and displays that information for you, it does cost you three tokens per product. And then the purge function to remove all your information from our database does not cost you any tokens either. 
So the way that I would set it up would be if you have a standard Keepa API account, like if you just have a regular Keepa subscription, I would recommend sticking between about five to at the very most seven storefronts. Uh, Cause you just have to keep in mind that each time it scrapes the storefront, that's going to cost you 10 tokens, right? So if you have say seven storefronts, that's going to cost you 70 tokens every 15 minutes. And the standard uh, refill rate for tokens for Keepa is five tokens every minute. So if your your standard refill rate is going to be 75 tokens every 15 minutes, right? So you'll be plus five tokens. Uh, that may not leave you a ton of room when you first add the sellers to produce products. But once um, once they're added, you do have some additional tokens. You may not get the best results. But the way our bot works is if it misses any results or like if you're broke for tokens and you cannot produce those results, it'll produce those results in the next scrape. Right. So for most storefronts, um, for most standard keep of subscriptions, I recommend staying around five storefronts or so. If you want to increase those storefronts, you would obviously need either a additional keep of subscription or you can increase your API access on Keepa. And if you want to do that, uh, you can just come into Keepa's API, uh, look at the pricing plans, and then you can see um, how many tokens you can get and the corresponding cost. So if you want 20 tokens per minute instead of five, it costs 49 euros per month, right? It is pretty reasonable. Of course, you probably don't want to get too crazy with it, uh, but you certainly can if you so choose. Uh, but yeah, that basically covers the basics of the bot. So right now we are still in beta. We're still testing and there are some things that are still getting adjusted. Like you notice with the Keepa chart right now, it does not display the sales rank. That will be coming very shortly, likely today. Uh, but I just wanted to inform everybody about this, get everybody set up, get testing it. And then of course, if you have any questions, if you notice any bugs, things of that nature, please let us know. That is exactly what this is for. But yeah, I do believe that this is a super powerful tool. This will um, be a very great asset in producing good viable leads very quickly for yourself it'll be a great supplementation to regular sourcing and so yeah if you have any questions please let me know